Assalamu alaikum and bismillahir rahmanir rahim dear students and viewers uh, today we are going to discuss uh, an important topic and uh, the topic is structure of platelets but before starting the structure of uh, platelet and uh, we have to recall our uh, memory like uh, in our previous lecture which was uploaded uh, previously um, that was megakaryopoiesis and uh, you know that there are different types of uh, maturation series for these uh, for the megakaryocyte uh, like uh, the first one was early megakaryoblast then late megakaryoblast then pro megakaryocyte immature megakaryocyte mature megakaryocyte and uh, then finally old megakaryocyte and uh, then we have a very important uh, function there we call it dms or demarcation membrane system and uh, how the pro platelet uh, produces and then small teeny platelets were produced and uh, we have already discussed in that lecture that why we call platelet uh, are not the exact cells but these are basically the sheddings of the um, pro platelet so today we are going to discuss uh, the structure of platelets because the next topic we are going uh, to discuss inshallah that uh, would be uh, coagulation and uh, in you know that in coagulation when we are going to discuss the coagulation so there are two important uh, um, function like uh, primary hemostasis and secondary hemostasis our for primary hemostasis uh, platelets are mostly involved in that function uh, like the formation of primary plug then there are adhesion or some other function so that would be discussed in our next lecture inshallah uh, like uh, in primary hemostasis then uh, we have secondary hemostasis as well and uh, there we would uh, like to discuss the different co uh, coagulation factors uh, how these factors and involve in uh, different uh, type of uh, function uh, primary or in secondary hemostasis so before starting that topic it is compulsory to uh, learn about the structure of platelet and uh, while starting uh, the structure of platelet or going to discuss the structure of platelet uh, you know that platelet are small uh, discoid shaped package of cytoplasm like uh, these are basically shreddings of the pro platelet and uh, if we uh, compare uh, platelet with the WBCs or uh, red blood cells, so uh, the platelet has uh, uh, special channels uh, which 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 are called uh, canaliculi, and uh, these canaliculi these are basically basically the passageway uh, give the platelet a sponge-like appearance. While in the red blood cell or in the white blood cell, they have a, a relatively smooth uh, surface. So uh, we will discuss uh, these passage and uh, the surface of these channels are continuation with the platelet membrane and uh, increase the surface area of the platelet uh, this is an important uh, uh, for platelet need numerous receptors to select to absorb the many coagulation factor necessary for the clotting uh, process so there are certain type of receptor which are present over the surface uh, over the surface of the uh, platelet and uh, you know that uh, these receptor uh, have very important role in the uh, coagulation uh, cascade so the first uh, thing or the first uh, layer is uh, uh, the platelet membrane uh, the platelet membrane is similar to the cytoplasmic membrane of other cells it also consists of a double layer of phospholipid in which a large number of integral protein are embedded and uh, most of these integral protein are basically glycoprotein uh, and these glycoprotein uh, serve as a receptor for many factors involved in the clotting process and uh, the majority of these receptors protein are occupied by coagulation factors selectively adsorbed from the plasma and uh, some of the most important coagulation proteins that are adsorbed to the platelet membrane are uh, like uh, factor 5 uh, factor 8 and uh, the most important factor 1 uh, which is also known as fibrinogen and uh, uh, these adsorb clotting factors form a surface coat of protein collectively known as glycocalyx and uh, these clotting factors are found not only on the exterior of the platelet surface but also on the membrane leaning uh, the um, learning that is canaliculi in the interior of the platelet which, which I have discussed before that basically these are the uh, passageway for the platelet. So up to here uh, 
uh, we are uh, familiar now with the um, channels which are known as canaliculi. Uh, the second is platelet membrane which have uh, some integral protein or we, uh, we call it uh, receptors uh, which are present on the surface of uh, these uh, membrane. The third thing is a filament rich microtubular layer and uh, that layer is found just below the platelet surface. This is uh, basically a narrow layer consists of microtubules and uh, microfilaments uh, that form a submembrane scaffolding. And uh, this layer not only maintain the discoid shape of the platelet, but also act as a contractile system that change their shape once they are activated. So, microtubules are composed of bundles of tubulin, whereas microfilaments are composed of actin, which readily binds to myosin molecule. And all of these fibrous protein are responsible for the contractile activity. So, dear students, uh, up to here now uh, we have discussed uh, uh, three different uh, uh, structures uh, of platelets. Like uh, the first one was canaliculi, which was the passageway. The second one was platelet uh, membrane, uh, which consists of the receptors and uh, glycoprotein. Uh, and uh, the third uh, one was filament rich microtubular layer. Now, under the microtubular layer, are uh, the, the, these uh, layer are called, or this part is called organelle zone. Okay, so this inner layer of platelet consists of uh, mitochondria, uh, glycogen particle and at least three different uh, uh, type of granules. Okay? These granules have most important function in the coagulation which will be discussed inshallah in the uh, next video. So, these are dense bodies, uh, alpha granules and lysosomal granules. So, uh, obviously these three granules have some content and uh, the content of these granules are also important for platelet function. So, uh, the first one is dense bodies or dense granules, the second one is alpha granules and the third one is lysosomal granules. Okay? So, the dense bodies are uh, called dense because they appear more dense than other granules in an electronic microscope um, uh, um, preparations uh, contain large quantities of ADP or ATP and other nuclear as well as serotonin, phosphate and calcium ion. So, okay. okay. So, the dense bodies have uh, content, uh, uh, contain large quantities of ADP, uh, ATP and uh, nucleotides and serotonin. Okay. So, remember these terms because uh, uh, it would be discussed in the function of uh, uh, platelets as well, how they participate in the coagulation cascade. Okay. Now, the second one is alpha granules. Alpha granules are the most common of these three types of intracellular uh, particles or um, intracellular granules, uh, which consist of protein that exist with the coagulation and other platelets function. Okay. The third one is lysosomal granules. Uh, they contain various hydrolytic enzymes uh, which required in the degradation of protein. So, these are the three different important uh, types of granules which are going to participate in the function of platelet and uh, you would uh, inshallah familiar with the function of these with how serotonin or lysosomal granule or how they activate uh, the platelet and how uh, they are degraded uh, um, these type of protein in a, a normal coagulation cascade. So, uh, other than these important parts, um, we have also some other parts of the canaliculi systems uh, which are remnants of the endoplasmic reticulum uh, that were present in the mega kerocytes. And uh, these two types of membrane fuses at various sites within the platelet cytoplasm. So, in addition to uh, absorbing certain clotting factors, these membrane complex are important in regulating intraplatelet calcium level. So, calcium level in turn are important in the regulation of platelet metabolic activity and activation. So, that was a short uh, uh, structure of uh, platelet and uh, if we summarize the lecture, so we have four different types of structures. Okay, The first layer was uh, canaliculi which was basically a uh, uh, passage uh, to, uh, for, to the inter uh, part of the platelet. Then uh, we have a platelet membrane which consists of 
of glycoprotein uh, receptors uh, like uh, some of these uh, platelet membrane are factor 5, factor 8 and factor 1. These are uh, some of the most important coagulation protein that are adsorbed here. Okay, And uh, the third layer was uh, filament rich microtubular layer and uh, the fourth important and most important are the granules. Uh, so, there are dense granules, there are alpha granules and there are lysosomal granules. So, that was the lecture before function of platelet and inshallah the platelet function is very important and uh, inshallah next week we will going to start uh, the function of platelet. Uh, you know that the platelet have different types of uh, function but the most important is making primary hemostatic plug and uh, how these uh, hemostatic plug are formed uh, like adhesion of platelet and how these adhesion uh, occur inside the body. So it's enough for today. Uh, inshallah, see you in the next lecture. Or oh, take care of yourself. Allah.